Hello, Gemini. This, welcome to your love reading. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, and doing well. This is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does. Leave the rest behind. Check your other planetary placements. <clears throat> also, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, share, and comment. And hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any of my uploads. And my giveaways and the shout outs to my winners and also i do have my lenormand class scheduled for january 25th at 7 p.m to 9 p.m eastern time it'll be a live interactive class <clears throat> via zoom it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to go over the basics of lenormand okay and Price is only $50, and seats are limited. You could go over to my website, www.mysticgen.com. It's also in the description box to sign up, okay? And right before the, um, the day of the class, uh, maybe a day or so before, you will receive a link with a password, <clears throat> okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Now keep in mind, energies are fluid. This could be you or your person. So we're going to go ahead and get the overall energies. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirit, and guides, what clarity, messages, and guidance for Gemini? What is the overall energy surrounding Gemini at this time? Overall energy surrounding Gemini. This could... These energies could be related to the main reading, or they may not. They may be a separate message. Let's see. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. <clears throat> okay, what I am getting from here is that there, whether it's you or somebody that you are dealing with, but someone <clears throat> is realizing their error. Okay, they know that they were freaking wrong. Okay, that's what I get. Somebody is feeling this regret. Somebody is having remorse for their actions. They are seeing things clearly. They are seeing the air in their ways. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into each sign. If you are dealing with any of these signs... <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Messages and Guidance, please, for Gemini, starting with Aries. Do all the 12 signs, Spirit. Clarity, Messages and Guidance, please, for Gemini, starting with Aries. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries. Funny, we got the Ace of Swords again. Just saying. Somebody seeing clarity now. If you're dealing with a Taurus. Somebody's working very hard to make things happen. If you're dealing with another Gemini. The Empress has left them out in the cold. If you're dealing with cancer, uh, there may have been some cheating going on. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's juggling multiple options. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Somebody's bound to determine to get justice. If you're dealing with a uh, Libra, somebody is unsatisfied. They need, they want balance and healing restored. If you're dealing with a uh, Scorpio, somebody is trying to find their strength and courage to take their power back. 
If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's done being breadcrumbed and they're walking away. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody's getting good news about and getting their wishes fulfilled. If you're getting, if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody's bringing about change to restore balance. If you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's working very hard on this connection. Okay, so we'll get into the main spread now. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for Gemini. Clarity, messages, and guidance for Gemini. <clears throat> clarity, messages, guidance for Gemini. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, clarity, messages, and guidance for Gemini. Clarity messages and guidance for Gemini, please. Clarity messages and guidance for Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat for some reason. Page of Cups energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The World card, Capricorn energy. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Wands, Seven of Wands, and Ten of Swords. So what I'm getting over here is that there, somebody is being more loving to themselves. Somebody is closing out some sort of chapter. They're bringing about some kind of ending in order to restore balance. Because they had they were involved with somebody who acted very impulsively. Now, I feel like this is your energy. <clears throat> now, keep in mind that roles can be reversed. So, so is female, male, female roles can be reversed as well. But I feel as though that you are being loving to self and you're closing out a chapter and moving forward and you're ready to start something new. You are making your plans and you're, you've been very patiently waiting on somebody who is acting very impulsively. Their impulsive reaction caused a lot of pain to you. You feel like you were stabbed in the back and betrayed and you are left standing your ground. That this person may, the person you're involved with may also be very defensive because you know how it is. When somebody doesn't see what's wrong or what they've done wrong, they could be defensive and say, no, no, no. Or if they are guilty and they don't want to admit their errors, they may, it's like this person's trying to deflect it onto you is what I'm getting here. It's the blame game is what I'm getting. Okay, we have the Page of Coins here with the Page of Cups. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. So I think that somebody is taking a very practical approach, being very loving to themselves, really paying attention to the details, and may even be hold somebody's holding back. We've got the Moon card, um, Pisces, Energy. 
And what I'm getting there is that, you know, there this person had a lot of hidden secrets. And because of these hidden secrets, you are closing this cycle out. And I also feel that you are trusting your instincts. You're trusting your intuition. Um, <clears throat> there may even be a little bit of fear involved here as far as moving forward. Because as you close this chapter out, you're not sure where the um, road is leading you. We have Judgment Card, Cancerian Energy with a Knight of Wands. You know, somebody, is, this is karma. So, I feel like somebody who has acted very impulsively, you know, they they may be receiving some karma now. They may, and they may have this wake-up call where they see cl very clearly the error of their ways. We have the Two of Swords here with the Three of Wands. So, I feel like somebody is making plans. Somebody is blocking out. You may even be blocking communication of this person and moving forward. We have the five of swords here with the seven of wands. You know how I said that they play the blame game. Okay. That it's all a mind game. They want to make you feel like you are the one that's in the wrong and, and they come out smelling like roses. Heaven forbid their friends and family think, Label them as a cheater or label them as a liar or, and deceiver. <clears throat> Heaven forbid they, they get labeled as a narcissist or whatever the situation is. But this is definitely a head game here. And we have the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords. So this is like an ending to a situation. Something that seemed to be a match made in heaven. A perfect home, happy, blissful ends in betrayal. Okay, we have over here the Ten of Wands, the King of Coins, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Eight of Coins. I always see the Eight of Coins as like Virgo energy. Five of Coins. You know, I think that somebody's feeling the pinch about money also. There's a lot of coins in this. Queen of Swords. There, That's your card there, Gemini. Or, or it could be a Libra or Aquarius. And we have the Two of Wands. So what I'm seeing over here is that there is definitely this crossroads. Um, it feels like the... Queen is caught between two worlds. She's definitely trying to... This is like ending out that cycle in order to move on into something new. And this Queen of Swords, she is a no-nonsense. She is not taking anybody's bullshit. Okay? Um, we have a man holding the coin here. We have a queen and a king on the board. Not exactly the perfect match. We have air and earth. Air and earth do not get along. Which kind of makes sense about the blame game. Um, potential arguments, not getting along is what I'm get what I'm picking up here. Uh, fighting with each other all the time, um, and somebody feels a responsibility. Somebody's take, you know, somebody feels very tired and very weighed down by this connection. And this queen is like, I get a, like a, a bitter sense, and with all these coins here, eight of coins, five of coins, and there's other coins here. It just feels like that somebody is feeling a loss, not just an emotional loss, but financial loss also. So I, it looks to me as you walk away, your king of coin, it may be, your, this king of coins here, he may be losing his coin. Just saying. He or she. It could go either way. It could be male or female. But this is somebody who represents himself as being solid and stable and abundant. And the queen, she is very sharp witted. She could be sharp with her tongue. Okay. And she holds nothing back. And I feel like she is speaking her truth and she's saying, you know what? You are not going to breadcrumb me anymore. You know, this is your loss. I am not putting that work and effort into this anymore. And, and you are going to be fending for yourself, buddy, is what I am getting. 
And we have the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Wands. So somebody is very burdened. Somebody wants to put an end to this and they want a new start. They want a new start in this. Ah, we got the Queen of Coins here so that we do have a true match on the board. Okay. Queen and King of Coins. That is a higher level of commitment that tells me could be a marriage. Both of them are very nurturing, very abundant, very down to earth. No, normally. But what I'm feeling with all these other energies is that both of these could also be stubborn. Neither one budging. And this queen could turn into... The Queen of Pentacles turns into the Queen of Swords very easily. I feel like she runs hot and cold. Um, don't piss her off. Um, but I do feel like somebody's not putting the work into this anymore. For some of you, with two queens and a king here, this could be third party situation also. That might be where the betrayal comes from. Um, we have the Three of Cups here with the... Eight of Coins. So we are looking at friendships, and even and there's three people. There could this could be a, um, an actual indication, not for everybody, that there could have been a third party here. Okay, and <clears throat> the blame game could be well because of the way you acted, the way you 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 talked to me or whatever, the way you dealt with me, you weren't very loving. So it's your fault that I cheated. Okay, that's that's it in a nutshell. And, you know, somebody was put... Your person may have been putting the work into a third party. You know, diverting their energy and their... To some someplace else here. And we have the Emperor here with the Five of Pentacles. The Aries energy. This is somebody who is very much in control. Okay, and I feel like this queen took back her power and taken away the finances, taken away the stability away from that king because there was a sense of betrayal. There was a sense of hurt. This queen is very hurt. Um, Hierophant, Taurus energy. This queen is very hurt. This queen is, this is definitely, I, I swear this is a marriage or a very high level of commitment. Okay, and I do feel that you know, this queen takes her commitments very seriously. But she may be wearing the pants. I think the tables have turned and she's wearing the pants and calling the shots. We've got the full card, um, which is Aquarius Energy with the two of wands. And the full card is telling me, you know, she... Feel, this queen says you're not making a fool out of me. That's, you know, this queen probably said you're not making a fool out of me and she turned on the ice. She turned very ice cold because somebody did a betrayal and said you're not making a fool out of me. Absolutely not. Let's see what the obstacles are here. High Priestess, Hidden Secrets. Trying to get past the hidden. Trying to break through. And, and you know, it, it is about truth. You know, there's... Yeah, Ace of Swords again. I just pointed to that. You know, it. this is a... The, the obstacles is about seeing clarity through the muck. You know, somebody's very deceptive. Somebody's hiding things and trying to get the truth to come out. And like I said, they want to play the blame game. I'm not the one cheating you are. You're the one to turn cold. Or, it's your fault that I cheated. It's like... Three of Swords. Yeah, trying to get... It, this is about seeing clarity, facing the truth. Somebody speaking the truth about what was hidden. Even though it is hurtful. And King of Swords. and We got another true pair on the board. So we do... I do feel like there are tr this is a true... This was a true match. But somebody really screwed up here. Uh, and this King of Swords, Air Energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is definitely feeling like, you know, somebody is definitely seeking truth in this. This could be the, the King coming out and finally speaking his truth and, everyth and revealing everything that was hidden, even though it's going to be hurtful. 
and the challenge is about getting past that hurt past that pain see potential outcome we have the four of coins we have the three of coins and we have the king of wands and the nine of coins so this is where the division is this is where the decision comes into play because we have somebody who really this king really wants to hold on to things he's going to pour on the passion he's going to bring about promises of change he's going to bring about promises of saying okay i'm on your page now i will do as you ask you are in the driver's seat i will make this up to you i will put the work in that is necessary and we have pre empress energy here this and this is somebody because this king wants his empress he wants his pre empress here and she is kind of like very well off on her own i feel she holds the money i really do because that's the vibe i'm getting the money's going away if she goes away <clears throat> Okay, and she is like very, very independent now, standing on her own two feet, and she has her back towards this king. He is talking, 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 and she's, it feels like she's very in her own space, nurturing her own self. And she's very abundant and very secure and very independent. And she is saying, she is like not hearing his words, because to her, they're just words. You know, actions speak louder than words. To her, they are just words, and they mean nothing. Okay, let's get some oracles, and we'll call this a read. Chariot. Okay, this is somebody who's on the move. This is somebody who's going towards their victory. They. This is somebody that somebody is moving forward change is happening and spirit is saying you need to stay strong through this change and this queen is bringing about this change she is leaving this behind her um because like i said she is not she's not even hearing it and she's going to be celebrating it's like she's going to be dancing out the door that's what i'm getting i'm dancing out the door um and spirit is downloading messages too and I think Spirit is trying to download messages of guidance. We've got blessings coming from above here. Somebody's being very blessed in this. So I feel like the door is opening for somebody as they make this change. I feel like that you, uh, <clears throat> to bring about this change and bring about these blessings, somebody's leaving something behind to accept their blessings. Unlikely. So it's unlikely that the, this couple is going to come back together is what I'm being told. Um, and <clears throat> it says, if you believe, letting go. Okay, it's unlikely. That this couple is going to come back together. And it's saying, if you believe in the divine and let go of the past, your blessings are going to be coming in. Love. Aha! If you let go, blessings of love are going to be coming in. Wow. If you be truly believe and you let go, love is going to come in breaking free so you know if that's what this is you know if you let go and you break yourself free and if you believe in it 
The universe is going to bless you. You got to get blessings, loving blessings. Wow, powerful, Gemini, powerful. Okay, this is what I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all. Blessed be.